Why did you do that now? Uh, seriously. Seriously, this plane. Uh, see, see, now it put me way south of where I actually wanted to be. Can you also fly the Atlas approach on autopilot and land your Boeing or Airbus easily? Sure. Can you also fly it manually in a small multi-engine airplane? Eh, it's not as easy as it sounds really. And I need practice, and so do you. Well, most likely. So come along and practice with me today on an IFR training flight out of Gary, Indiana, as I get current on my IFR ratings again. Let's go flying. Okay, let's zoom in here on Gary. The plan is to depart runway 30 towards Lewis University and your lit V1 and enter the hold. From the V1, we'll do an approach into Lewis. Fly the missed approach back to the V1 and fly another approach. After that, we'll fly south towards Pontiac V1 over to Seaway. Maybe get back just to Seaway before reaching the Pontiac V1. From Seaway, we fly another approach into Greater Kankakee. Fly the missed approach and do a second here as well. Then Piotone V1, which will take us into Lansing for a VOR approach. And then finish the flight off with the sixth and last approach into Gary. Okay, back on the plane, we can see the uh, weather for today, Gary. Overcast 7500, Lewis 7500, Greater Kennedy sky clear, Lansing is also sky clear. 270 at 7 here in Gary, 320 at 4, 340 at 4, 310. Having a closer look at the uh, GPS, I put in uh, Gary and Jolid and Lewis uh, in the um, in the flight plan. Looking at the iPad here, we can uh, we can take a look at Lewis and procedures approach localized Dimi runway nine. We have uh, an initial approach fix at Jolid, two thousand five hundred feet. No procedure turn required. We can turn directly in. Uh, final approach course is zero nine zero at four point five DME. So the localizer we are supposed to be no lower than 1800 feet missed approach or minimums is 1100 and missed approach is uh, climb to 1300 then climbing right turn to 2500 feet direct joliet v1 and hold we'll just do that two times i am flying uh, heading off 260 to avoid the class uh, bravo airspace uh, which goes from 3600 up to 10,000. as uh, seen here not that I would be choosing my own heading uh, in real life, of course, but I don't imagine they would want me in there anyway. So I have also set up the uh, hold at Joliet as, um, as seen here. So we will hold over um, Joliet with a parallel in it, entry uh, to the hold. Inbound course is uh, 066, outbound 246, hold of uh, one minute or legs of one minute. And that is on a radial of 246, so we can set that up here too. Okay, we are clear of the uh, class pro airspace. We can go direct, direct, activate, enter, and nav. Hmm. Ah. Why? Why are you drunk, plane? All right, direct to Joliet. Why did you do that now? Uh, seriously. Seriously, this plane. Oh, can't wait to fly the Challenger again. See, see, now it put me way south of where I actually wanted to be. I'm a beam. And one minute. Should it be the other way around? So you can't really be looking at the um, full flight for for too much for the, where you have to turn because now I'm at 45 seconds and um, I still have 10, 10 seconds more before I can turn. So, and turning. We need a 30 degree entry. So that's 36 degrees. One inbound course of 66. All right. So as soon as this um, send us up, we can head uh, to Oh, uh, heading off uh, 06. And actually, it almost looks like we're flying on the wrong side of uh, the VOR again. So I'll just turn a little bit more to the left here. Right turn heading 246. And uh, 
descending to 2500 in time one minute should be the other way around shouldn't it really Oh my god, it's so difficult when it's on GPS and not nav. Oh, wow. It was this way around. <laughs> wow. Ah, oh, man. Atrocious holdings. Atrocious. Not good. Not good. 2500. It's been so long that I confused myself uh, with the radial here, uh, whether it should be on top or, or bottom. And uh, it doesn't help that it was in the. Uh, I put it in uh, GPS, forgot to, uh, to switch it over. Anyway, we need to turn, heading of 360. Switch the uh, localizer and put it on 090. There we go. And we can descend to 1800. Manual flying. Flips one. Down to 1100. He's coming right for us. Ah! And 1100 going missed. First rig up. 1300 feet right turn, direct Juliet. Alright, we are nearing a uh, Juliet. We are again. No procedure turn required. I don't need to hold, so we can hit uh, 360. See the uh, needle here is moving. 360. And uh, we will switch over to the localizer again. Heading 090. Like this, and we can descend again to 1800 feet. Gear down 1800 feet until hobbled. Flaps one and hobbled 1100 and autopilot off. Okay, 1100 going around. Plus a rig gear. 1300 feet right turn Joliet we can do 4000 now and uh, it's 0 9 uh, 6 for the uh, Papa November Tango that was uh, one hold and two low lines uh, DME approaches now we're flying towards um, Pontiac B1 and from uh, Pontiac B1 we will be doing a uh, another approach into uh, Kanke Key, Kanka Key. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name. Kanka Key. So um, the weather still fine. Three five zero six. Ten miles uh, started uh, visibility. Stretch mile visibility and a uh, broken seventy five hundred. And uh, same altimeter. Eleven degrees. Runways zero four is good. Alright, let's approach from Pontiac. Yes, sir. Zero eight seven. Final approach course is 038, 1900 feet to join the localizer. And uh, the minimum is 824. Missed approach is climb to 2300, then right turn direct Lukov uh, out of Marga and hold. So we have to put in Lukov 272. 272. A, a lot of uh, wind turbines ahead of us, uh, which is also uh, shown on the uh, the chart so that's nice really cool that it's uh, it's actually here in the sim i've turned a little bit more uh, towards seaway one three zero no glass i like and we're at 1900 feet to capture the uh, glide slope slightly to the left here as well Good now, or better. Waiting for the uh, glide slope here. Glide slope alive. Gear down. Autopilot come off. Out of marker. That's one. Slightly right. Correcting and slightly low. Clips two. Looking good. 400 feet. Full flaps. 100 above. And minimums. Going around. Further rig up. Clips 1. Clips 2. Clips 3. Clips 4. 
climb to 2300. Yep, two, 2300 and then right turn, direct, look up, automaka and hold. We'll not be holding, we'll just continue back, uh, backtrack on a 218, then 173 for a minute. Pretty much doing this here, 2300, we'll turn. And yeah, we see the ADF needle starts to move here, so we're getting close. Yep, how to mark a 218 heading and uh, time that for a minute. Okay, that was a minute, so um, 173, left heading 173 as indicated here. And uh, one swings level, a minute outbound. Yep, a minute. After that, um, it will be a right turn heading 353 while descending to 1,900 feet and then we can uh, join the uh, uh, ILS localizer 038 inbound again that is the plan anyway <laughs> 035 no that's wrong 353 <laughs> 353 and descending 1,900 feet let me see the runway up here Local glass alive. Glass alive. Get up. Platform. And the uh, autopilot coming off. Automaga. Flaps two. Full flaps. Half uh, high, correcting. Hundred above. And minimums. Flaps one. Plus a ratio. Flaps up. Not a pilot on. And Lancing procedures approach, and we will do a VR. For something else actually 2300 is fine and we need the chicago heights one one four two <laughs> okay so um lansing biwa alpha approach go ahead pure tone we'll be doing a uh, radial of zero one three until we meet the uh, chicago heights radial two to nine the, then we will uh, follow that inbound on a heading of zero four nine Missed approach procedures is climb to 1500 feet, then climbing right turn 2300 direct Chicago Heights V1 uh, and hold. Minimums for the circling is 1140. Minimum altitude over Chicago Heights is uh, 1800 feet. Frequency 11420 enter. So currently we're applying outbound Piotone. Piotone? Piotone? I don't know. <laughs> uh, outbound. Or from Piotone VOR radial 013. This one should pick it up. I don't know why it doesn't. It is on nav 2. 1142. Oh well. Radial 049. Radial 2 to 9 inbound course is 049, which we are on now. And we can descend to 1800 feet. So this is a VR approach for circling to uh, one of the runways here. And uh, you can see the airport in front of us. There is no runway that aligns with us. Uh, also, if we zoom in on the, uh, the iPad here, you can see no runways are aligned with us. So uh, it's just a way to get into the app or to around the air airport and, uh, and then you can circle to land from there. We're getting uh, up on um, on the uh, Chicago Heights VR shortly. Go ahead, Chicago Heights, and we can descend to 1140 so at this point i would actually i would love to be uh visual with the airport <laughs> um see the runway is here here and we're still descending to the minimums crazy anyway going around and was a climb to 1500 feet then a right turn 2300 feet direct chicago heights Gary, 
procedures. Approach. Alice. Activate approach. Gary. Tower one two five six. And ground one two one nine up. Three oh six. Okay, ILS, a localizer runway 30 into uh, Gary. Localizer is uh, 10875, which is set. Approach course is uh, 306, set. We are flying hot dog. Initial approach fix 2400 feet to uh, Kikvi, 13 DME. No procedure turns required, we will fly straight in 306. In case of a missed approach, climb to 1500 feet, then climbing left turn. 2400 direct Chicago Heights, which is set 1142. Approach briefing complete. Lake Michigan. And uh, runway 30 right here. And we're turning. That means we get the sense to 2000 feet. And we switch over to nav again so we get uh, the localizer and glide slope uh, indications uh, as well. Glide slope alive. Autopilot off. You don't. Flaps one, flaps two, slightly lower, full flaps. That Brahma is very bright. <laughs> wow, 100 to go. Minimums, continue. All right, we are down and we are vacating here as usual or as usual. Uh, I say that, mm, <laughs> but I mean from when we arrived here first time and when I blew the uh, flights earlier this morning for my night currency and uh, again now. So switching on to ground, one to one nine. Uh, we'll just text back to, um, to Coleman. All right, we have arrived back in Gary after a one hour and 56 minutes flight six approaches and uh, and a holding and honestly i'm very rusty i i know that and i'm very tired after this <laughs> it's a, it's a lot of work uh i can definitely do with some more practice uh that's that's for sure that i i suppose everyone can do that or you know benefit from more practice and i encourage you to do as well it's been a lot of fun i hope you enjoyed the, the video so if you uh, did then uh, hit the like button and uh, consider subscribing and uh, and check in with the sneak of the pilot for more adventures see you next time bye